Dave, good to see you. So, you know, steady growth here, 52 percent year over year. Backlog growing in the form of remaining performance obligations at 553 million. What are customers doing differently, if anything, in this belt tightening environment? I mean, they're still transitioning to the cloud. You're helping them do that in a secure multi-cloud way. Still lots of demand for that? Yeah, good morning, folks. Uh, yeah, I, th I think what you saw was really more of the same uh, that we've been doing for, for quite some time. I, th I think what's very clear to us that there is an infrastructure modernization cycle underway uh, in the world of infrastructure as people are going from predominantly private data centers to cloud. You're seeing them all, you know, really around the world uh, going through this, that, that, really that cycle. And I think, you know, that's really what you're seeing, you know, flow through in, in you know, certainly our results. You saw that from Mongo and Snowflake and others that are in that category. And I think that is, that is really an inexorable trend. Uh, I think you were at the reInvent event last week as, as were we, and it was just remarkable to see just the scale of, of large companies that were there, you know, getting serious about the cloud transition. I think that's really reflected in all of our results. So these longer sales cycles that we keep hearing about, is that just a lot of the enterprise holding their stomach for a moment as the momentum in the economy shifts, or is that a new normal? Is it something that your sales teams are figuring out how to solve for because customers just want a different type of flexibility, or has the overall demand picture shifted? Yeah, I, I think I go back to the kind of that, that core dynamic of, of sort of that, the infrastructure modernization cycle is very clearly happening. I think what's less clear is how that flows through the procurement process in big companies. I think that's really what you're seeing across the, across the globe is it's just a little bit more uncertainty as those companies, uh, we all sell to large, large enterprises and you know, as they look at their own businesses and are perhaps more measured on their own uh, expend appetite in the near term. I think that's what you're seeing happen is people just being a bit more, applying a bit more scrutiny to their to their process. That just means, you know, the, 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 the sales cycle is somewhat lengthened for everybody as that happens. And that's different from what you saw a year ago when, when people were being a little bit more comfortable and confident in their own businesses. So I think to some degree, that's just the normal. Uh, I think that, you know, that's the way cycles work. But you know, I think what we can hang our hat on is, is that the long-term technology cycles are very, very profoundly true. Uh, irrespective of what's happening in the, in, the, in sort of the finance departments of, of our customers. You know, I was traveling around Europe and Asia and North America over the last month, and it's incredibly, incredibly consistent that that, that long-term trend is there. You know, the, the procurement departments are, are what we all have to deal with. That's interesting, Dave, and I wonder, I mean, as you make your, your rounds, at this point, what is the bigger motivator, price or some of the new features and products that you, that you mentioned in your release? You no, know, I think it's more sort of an acknowledgement that you know if my if my current uh, data center is where all my things run, I know how to run that infrastructure. What's very very clear to them all is, hey, now more of my applications are running on Amazon or on Azure or Google, and and they're really just trying to conceptually understand what that modern stack is going to look like. So it's not really a near term thing. It's not a feature here or a feature there. It's really a philosophical bet from those customers on what that new stack is going to be. And I think. You know, now we're seven, eight years into the cycle of, of sort of the realization that multi-cloud is the reality. And I think that vendor stack has become relatively clear to, to most people. That's what you see Mongo, you see Snowflake, you see Databricks, certainly Hashcore is in that picture. And I think, I think it's really much more that setting themselves up for the next, you know, 30 years of their infrastructure state versus any one particular thing. And I think that what lends, that's what lends sort of the longer cycles to be what they are is because these are deeply considered decisions. They're very, this is very, very valuable real estate for all of us as we, uh, as we try to engage with those customers. And I think that's really what's happening. It's, it's more oh. philosophical than it is a feature.